Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Today we're gonna to work on the inversions from the Ashtanga Standing Series, both from chair pose in which we take the handstand transition, as well as the warrior two into the handstand taking the transition. And we're just gonna actually work with the wall today because um, to be quite honest, chair pose to handstand is really hard unless you can press up. So um, using the wall to actually hop up first and then attempting to pike and hop back into Chaturanga is generally a really nice way to just kind of begin the idea, getting comfortable with this thought process of actually hopping up with both feet and then hopping back into Chaturanga with both feet. And similarly with the warrior two, we're gonna lift up into handstand from warrior two, so that is one leg at a time, but then the hop back is actually two feet. So it's not necessarily graceful, I just want to remind everybody to be cautious of your toes and do take notice of the fact that it's just the way it is in the Ashtanga system. So if you feel clunky or if you feel like it's not graceful, you're not alone. So here we go. Let's come on up to the top edge of your mat. We're actually just going to make our way directly to Utkatasana. So here we go. So I'm going to face the wall for my chair pose. And as we would in Utkatasana, we just hopped forward from downward facing dog in the Ashtanga system. And we're gonna sit back into your chair, just nice and deep, and let's just hold it for five, four, three, two. Good, on one, just inhale, really lift and expand the chest, and exhale, let's fold forward into the legs. So this is the spot from which we take a handstand. So you might position the hands forward. Typically we would try to take a handstand with the hands back in line with the feet. But for the purposes of this drill, we're just gonna take the hands forward pretty close to the wall and practice leaning into the wall with the head, you can come up to the balls of the feet. And we're gonna practice hiking up a little bit, maybe tucking up if that feels better for you and just getting into a handstand on the wall. So ideally the feet and the hands are still pretty close together. If you need to step back with the feet, that's fine. But here we go, inhale, hopping up, handstand, and then practice piking first, and then hopping back to your plank. And then you can lower down into Chaturanga, upward dog, inhale, and downward dog, exhale. So that's essentially the action that you wanna get from your chair pose into your handstand. So from here, we're gonna step forward with the right foot into warrior one. So let's just take the whole thing. Pivot the left heel in, step the right foot forward. As always, find a nice bend into the front knee and use that to lift that Fugir Bajrasana A. For one, two, three, four, and five, we'll straighten right leg, inhale, exhale, pivot, face the left leg, same thing, other side, just nice and deep into the left leg for one, two, three, four, and five, we'll open up to your warrior two, maybe you have to shift the feet out a little bit wider, but it's dropping into your beer drops in a V for one, two, three, four, five, inhale, straighten left leg, exhale, pivot, face right leg. I'm really close to this wall. I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's try it for five, four, three, two, good, on one, we're gonna windmill the hands down framing the front foot. I do have to pop up my back heel for this. And then we're gonna to try to kick off with the front foot. So I'm gonna walk my foot back a little bit and practice lifting up to your handstand. Oop, I didn't do that great. Practice lifting up to your handstand. <laughs> Here we go, I'm gonna try again. Hopefully you're in the handstand. <laughs> awesome. And then from your handstand on the wall, once again, practice piking a little bit and then hopping back to your chaturanga. Lowering down, upward dog to downward facing dog. So that's essentially um, the transitions in the Ashtanga practice. My recommendation is to really practice those. So if you break it down, just head to the wall, try chair pose, five rounds of breath, 
and then lifting up into your handstand from your chair pose immediately, okay? Use that wall, why not? And then when we're practicing together, just turn and face the wall. Practice Utkatasana by the wall when we're practicing together even as a group. And I'll definitely increase your capability and your ability overall to hop up with both feet because I think personally that's probably the hardest part of it. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Namaste.